Tuesday, we could learn more about another cold case here in Indiana. Police believe the I-65 killer or the Days Inn killer could be responsible for as many as three murders and several assaults in the 80s and 90s. Elizabethtown police matched DNA in a number of cases in several states. The women were all, were all motel clerks along I-65. Police, along with the FBI, are holding a news conference Tuesday and will only tell us they have a major announcement. So we'll follow that. New at 6 o'clock, Purdue University is now ending COVID surveillance testing for unvaccinated students and staff as of today. Purdue says its campus community is now 90% vaccinated and immunity is more than 92%. Targeted testing will continue where potential COVID spread is possible and the surveillance testing may resume if there's a surge in cases or if new variants emerge. So this makes sense. When you think about the impact that COVID has had, it's more than just the physical side of things. Yeah, it is also about the mental impact. So tonight, Argina Glaros has more on the pandemic's impact on kids. We all know learning and working from